feel powerless? Powerless. No power to change anything in your life, to move forward, to, I don't know, have things be different, better. In fact, you have an enormous amount of power and you're just not exercising it. You have the power of choice. Choice. We all can choose. Now, I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear you. And you're saying, no, I don't have the power of choice. I can't make a choice. Well, that's incorrect. Let me explain why. A lot of times we get stuck in a situation and we, we look at that situation and we say, you know, I really don't have the ability to change it. But in fact, you can change it with a single decision. When you choose to do something differently, things change. So you may think that you don't have the power to change your marriage or your husband, that you're stuck, that he's stuck, that it's not gonna get better. In fact, first of all, you have the choice to change yourself, to behave differently, to feel differently within your relationship. Now I can't, you may not be able to make yourself love your husband again if you've fallen out of love, but you could choose to be grateful for him. You could choose to be appreciative. If you're stuck in negativity and complaining and only seeing the bad in him, you can definitely change that up and begin seeing the good and being grateful and appreciative. That'll change the energy considerably and you'll see a huge change. The other thing is if you're stuck in there complaining, 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 and thinking that you can't change anything, in fact, you have the ability to choose, to choose to be out of the relationship or to choose to go to counseling or to do any number of different things that could begin to change the marriage. I know people who will say they're stuck in a job and they don't have any choice. Their boss won't give them a promotion. They can't get a raise and they're stuck and they, they have no power. They say, I'm powerless in this. It's all up to my boss. No, it's not. First, you have the choice to leave the job if you really hate it and you think that you're not being compensated correctly or that you haven't gotten the raise that you deserve. Second, I would bet that you are in the habit of seeing your boss in a negative light and so you probably don't have anything to, nice to say about him and you may avoid him or look down every time he comes along or she comes along. Change it up. Look them straight in the eye. Say, hi, how are you? How's your day going? Be polite, be friendly, be caring. It may feel hard, but this is a choice you can make and that will change your interaction with that person. And if your raise or your promotion isn't coming because the person doesn't feel comfortable with you, you can change the comfort level and that may make a difference. You could also choose to increase your skill level. You could choose to apply for other jobs any number of things you could do. You have power, the power of choice. So I want you today to look at your life. Where do you feel stuck and powerless? Do you feel powerless in your relationship? Do you feel, you know, your primary relationship? Do you feel powerless with your children? Do you feel powerless in your job? Do you feel powerless about your health or fitness? Do you feel powerless about your ability to pursue your goals. Wherever in your life you feel powerless, I want you to make a list of choices you can make. Of all the different choices you could possibly make. Yeah, you're gonna have to get out of the negative thinking, right? And the stuck thinking and actually see that there are choices. And then once you have a list of choices for each area where you feel powerless, I want you to exert your power. I want you to decide on something you're going to do. You're going to choose some action to take. Even if it's a mental action, it's okay. Or you could use your little feet, right? You could use your voice, all kinds of things that you could do, you could choose to do. So I want you to exert your power to choose, okay? Now I hope this challenge to you and the tips I've given you are, are helpful. If you found them helpful and you'd like to have more help getting unstuck in all kinds of areas of your life, there's more where this came from. 
I'm a certified high performance coach and I'd love to give you a strategy session, a free kind of discovery session where you and I meet for a little over an hour and we talk about some of the concepts in high performance and see where you are on those and I give you a couple more tips and strategies. But these strategy sessions are for someone really interested in high performance coaching and going to the next level because that's what I help people do. I help people step into their best selves and realize their potential, fulfill their purpose. Whether they're writers or artists or coaches or homemakers, it doesn't matter to me. This is what I help you do. So if you would like some more tips, go on over to ninaamir.com and sign up for a free strategy session. ninaamir.com forward slash free session. That'll take you to the, to the sales page with the application and apply and let's see whether we're a good fit. Or while you're over at ninaamir.com, download the free book about high performance habits and start putting those into place and you'll see that you have a lot of choice about a lot of things, a lot of things that are gonna improve your life, okay? If none of that works for you, shoot me an email. Let me know what you need and I'll try to support you the best I can. Well, that's it for today. I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach and until I talk to you next, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Oh, 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 oh,